tear gas cleanup can, can be very um, time consuming. People often don't realize that tear gas isn't a gas, it's actually a powder. So I, I, I tell people it's almost like taking a, a can of baby powder and puffing around the house and those tiny little droplets get everywhere. So the, the process really is first removing all the soft goods in the home, uh, typically those get disposed of. Clothes could be laundered, but like carpets and couches and drapes, depending on how bad it is, usually get disposed. Uh, and then sometimes flooring, if there's uh, large gaps, like if it's a hardwood floor, those would need to get sanded and resealed to lock in whatever residuals there after we've HEPA vacuumed everything out. Uh, but the, so the process is first remove soft goods, and then we, we really, we clean everywhere. We HEPA vac, uh, we use a special wash solution, uh, followed by a neutralizer. And we might have to do that two, three, four times to get the property to the point where the, the, uh, the resident isn't reacting any longer.